Why are we both dressed in all black? <laughs> have you been to... gym today? Yeah, I've already been. Oh, that's have you why. been? Nah. I'm are you gonna, gonna go? go right after that's this? Why. I like that boohoo, man. Is that the Larry Wheels one? Nah. Just a plain one. They, they, terrible though, one. I thought it was Larry Wheels because he, he looked like Larry Wheels in that. <laughs> it's because of the. Um, what material is it? Nasty, man. Look, they get patches and everything. Boyfriend material. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping that in. Yo, um, welcome back to another episode of the Push Pull Podcast. Push Pull Pod. Crap! Seven episodes in, I got it wrong. Push Pull Pod. Um, and today, who's our guest? Oh, our guest is the. I don't know, man. We are going to get a guest, though. Maybe not right now, but eventually. Okay, someone needs to nominate themselves as a guest. Yeah, we'll like anyone yeah. at this point. Come on, man. Like, we're getting some decent views now on TikTok. And uh, <laughs> some, cause some beef with some random profiles on TikTok. You know what? What, what did that guy say? He goes, uh, I don't want to address it, but I don't yeah. want to talk about it. But he was saying, oh, you're going to talk about it in the next podcast. Did oh no, he goes, uh, when you record your next party, you can. You be sure to give me uh, a shout out for um, proving that you're a hater. <laughs> you apparently, I, apparently, I hate 17 and 18 year olds. NFL, what the heck? You're like, bro. It might, they're, they're idiots, man. The, the, knows, the point of that clip, is there any point in addressing it? But the point of that clip was people who were living like a pro bodybuilder's lifestyle without. Like competition, yeah, it's silly. I, I can't even remember. It's if you watch the whole clip, it makes more sense, yeah, yeah. But it, then people are commenting, Oh, so if you play Sunday League football, that means you can't, uh, yes, that means you want to be a professional footballer. What did I say? If you, if you just because you the like thing red is, apples, the thing is, the, the, yeah, exactly. Just because you like red apples doesn't mean you're saying green apples are horrible, yeah. Like, pe- people need to understand the thing context. Was, the analogy would be if you were gonna say, Oh, because there was boxing and football, people were saying all sorts. The analogy would have been somebody who lives his life like a pro boxer or a pro MMA fighter or a pro footballer. Yeah. But doesn't want to do doesn't any of those things professionally. Doesn't want to like do anything. Like who's training like a footballer trains every day? Like they train for what? Four, yeah. five hours, six hours a day. Eat in a certain way. Mm. Like they got all that stuff going on. Especially if you're an MMA or a boxer. I'm saying pro level bodybuilders. I'm not saying someone's just using my fitness pal or something and just trains at the gym. You know what man? Yeah, but regardless, bunch of idiots anyway. All of that's not what this episode is about. That's not this, episode. this episode we're going to talk about. What's the date? It's uh nearly mid mid March. Um, Ramadan soon, man. Ramadan's very Ramadan soon. Ramadan very soon. It's like in a couple of weeks. And every year you do get people talking about like what you should do yeah, for Ramadan. Because yeah, there's always, always new people doing Yeah, the but there's man. always there always people that need to know the information, man. So this episode is just going to be like. What to do in Ramadan, how to train, how to what to eat, when to eat, should you even train? All yeah. these questions that just come to your head, you know, because you just love the gym so much. You just can't get rid of it during Ramadan. Um, but yeah, man, what, 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 what do you reckon when it comes to uh, Ramadan? Would you, what would your ad- advice be your approach to training and nutrition during Ramadan? I think the, my advice would be training after you break your fast. Okay. I'm not on... I'm not uh, part of the train. But what about the religious games, man? No, uh, no, obviously. So I'm saying what I did last year was train in between, uh, like Maghrib and Iftar, oh. and uh, Tarawih time. Oh, that's a short window, though, man. Yeah, but you just gotta Is, be quick. And on the gym's so, packed as well. At that time. Yeah. Not that packed. Not many idiots in the gym at that time. <laughs> But I always thought the thing is, you know, going. Or train after Tarawi, I guess. Nah, that's a lot. But, then, but that's if you have no, like, if you're not nice. working or yeah, anything. Like, on, if, if, yeah, you know what? We should have context today. I'd say if you're not working, if you're working, so there's two types of people if you're working and you're not working. If yeah. you're not working, you do whatever you want. Like, it don't really matter. But if you're yeah. working and you have to actually wake up in the morning, let's say you work a typical nine to five job, coming, like, knowing, let's say if Thar opens, uh, if far as at like seven o'clock, I would the say first one's quarter to eight, so you're not far off. Quarter to eight, yeah. Oh, seven forty-five. So, yeah. So we come back from work, then go like maybe go to the gym, man. Like the last 50, 50, 45 minutes. That's that's what I normally do. I always go gym before I open my fast. Yeah. But I know people say like, like you were saying before, it's your training's affected and your recovery, and you can get more injuries and whatnot. It's catabolic, which is definitely true, but. Are, is it catabolic? Is it's, it really? It's not, but it's just. 
it's just uh, uh, when you're fasted, apparently you're at more of a risk of injury as well. No, you definitely are. I, mean, I think that comes to like your yeah. mental fatigue as well that you have. But then I feel like you know some people who train before they break their fast. Yeah. I feel like Ramadan, like when they're in that fasted mode, they almost train like they're mentally better. Yeah, because you've got no alternative kind of thing. Yeah, but because the people who I've seen that train like when they're fasting, or they speak about when they're training when they're fasting. Yeah. They, they make it sound like. Like when they're training, it's just they're in a completely different mindset. Maybe that's just the 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 benefits of the month, isn't it? Yeah, All that stuff, mental. So mental. I think training comes. I think it's a personal preference. Mm. Personal preference. I would. I, but, I I would go just before I open my fast. Yeah, I'd say go b- just before you open. Yeah, and if you can, ide- in an ideal situation, if you can, you'd go after you open your fast. You've got some food in you. Yeah. That you you'd be something more energetic. Quick, something quick. Because then, because then you wouldn't need to adjust your uh, training split as much as you would if you were, if you were training fasted, beforehand. Yeah. Because if you're training beforehand, like you're saying, the risk of injury, you're going to be tired. The gyms are probably going to be a lot busier because everyone really Especially goes before at that time. I reckon that's the busiest time in Ramadan. It, it does start off busy, but you realize after like six, seven days, yeah. everyone starts to be like, you know what, this probably isn't worth it. Like, let's just take, take the month off. Yeah. But we can't take the month off, man. No rest yeah. days. No rest days. No rest days. But I, yeah. So I, so you, what did you? Um, oh, so you said you trained before. I so trained before. So last year I trained. Um, I joined the gym in Ramadan last year. Oh yeah, you started everything in that lockdown. One. <laughs> lockdown started. Uh, lockdown was lifted. Whatever I think it was lifted April twelfth. Yeah, yeah, just as uh, gym. So opened. then I joined the gym. Yeah. I had. Um, I trained in bit that that window that I said. So I would break my fast with some water. Yeah. Pray. I'd have a protein smoothie, some rice yeah. cakes, and I go to the gym. But you know what, and man? I did that for every fast except two. Yeah, but you, you know, bro, this, this, see, look, I've got years on you in yeah. terms of training. When I first started, man, I was doing all this jolly stuff as well, yeah. bro. I reckon go deeper into your training, yeah. then you're gonna be like, you know what? I can't be asked. I'm just gonna go beforehand. I'm gonna do a quick forty-five minute session. I'm not gonna cut yours because you cut as well in the gym, yeah. bro. I don't know how you do that, man. But I don't know how you do that. I lost like about seven or eight kilo. Man. That's my plan this year as well. Plan is to cut again. To cut, man. That's... We're gonna get into cutting actually first, yeah. properly. But in terms of training, let's finish on that. Yeah. Um, if you are gonna train beforehand, mm-hmm. adjust your split. Yeah, how, how would you adjust it then if you were training beforehand? <sighs> no, wait, how would you adjust your training split if you were if you were training, training before you opened your fast and you like decided that's where I'm gonna train? Yeah, I'd say probably. Training at lower volume mm. instead of lower intensity, maybe. So training like so, how how much volume you have like in terms of total sets per body part of the week? I'd say drop it by like a quarter, half? a quarter, or a half maybe a lot, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter maybe, or maybe just stick to like four sets on everything. Just keep it keep a, keep an arbitrary that. number. You reckon? Yeah, four that. sets with because in the week you need around twelve to twenty sets per body part. Yeah, that's yeah, four, four each, each. In like working sets, so yeah. not warm up sets. Oh, so I'd say oh no, no, stick, I mean total to the, sets. Yeah, so yeah, like no, one no. warm up and then four sets. Yeah, no, no, no. So working sets, so maybe 12. Oh, you need two. Maybe like 10 sets, working sets yeah, per body part through yeah, the week. Yeah, yeah. So if you're training, say, chest twice a week, Three then maybe have five working sets each day for chest that you take to failure with good intensity. Yeah. And I'd say have one week that you train like that, and then maybe the next week have. Slow it down. Don't don't train as intense. So same like working sets, but just train away from not too close to failure. You could even reduce the actual number of days you even go to the gym. Yeah, like I think one that day makes on, more sense. one day that off, makes one more day sense. on, one day off. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Like do like upper lower rest for three days, upper lower. No, upper lower rest for two days, upper lower rest. Yeah, yeah, lower, yeah. Rest. stuff like that. Like and also you gotta understand like it's only it's only a month, man. Like it's, it's only it's, a month. It's not, it, the worst it's, thing. it's not it's not the worst thing, and you get. Anything you potentially would lose, you'd get it back after like a week of training. And the thing is, what were you saying to me? Remember in lockdown when we would, uh, when we had those one-off sessions, you mm. were saying you only need like how many sets to maintain muscle mass during the week? Like how much? What was I don't it? No man, I've dropped so much wisdom over <laughs> these years. I just, I just forget. You need like a cert- You only need a certain amount of training to maintain muscle mass, along with high. With that, oh, along that with does protein. sound like something I would have said. There is a yeah, like there, three there sets, is a minimum three amount. Sets yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. That. You only need to, um, yeah, you only need, was it, yeah, like you're saying, you only need like three, four sets per, per body part, per, per, body part, per yeah, muscle. And then you can 
maintain that. that. Yeah, you, you won't build anything necessarily, yeah. but you'll maintain what you got. I think the goal in Ramadan is to maintain. Uh, maintain. That should be your main like goal. Main what if, what if you maintain. see the uh, what if you see the big bearded sheikh putting on muscle during Ramadan? Is he easy night you or not? <laughs> not night. <laughs> not <laughs> Making gains during Ramadan. Yeah. No. Adjust your training split if you are going to train yeah. beforehand, and if you're training afterwards. Don't train. Don't do one rep maxes in Ramadan. Yeah, Especially don't, don't do one fasted. rep max. Yeah, that would be. Even nice. if you're not training fasted, like, don't do one because uh, one rep maxes take a toll on your, like, central nervous system. Everything to take it on everything, yeah. so you're just gonna ruin the training you have after it. Everything will be. And it'll just be. It's just ineffective. Save mm-hmm. your one rep max for Eid. Yeah, save it for yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, Eid don't tra- Eid is three days, isn't it? Technically, yeah. so but everyone does it one day. Okay. Now one day, yeah, go to the gym in the morning on Eid, yeah, do your little quick pump, whatever, get your little pumping for your picks and that. But then the session after Eid, the day after, when you fully sugared up and calmed yeah. up, you're gonna have the dirtiest pump. Make sure it's a it's a pump day. Make sure it's uh, yeah. arm, yeah, upper arm body, day. Yeah, yeah, chest, back, as many re- things as you can, just to get a mad pump. They're the, they're the best sessions, and you got all that uh, all, all the, the desserts food. in there. Here. Yeah, man. All right, go on. That was training then. Um, nutrition then man what would you what, what how would you go about your nutrition in Ramadan? i don't know man it's you know it's such a like you said it's only a month and like really not that like, deep unless it? yeah it's not that deep it's only a month like don't obviously overindulge because then you're defeating the purpose of ramadan itself and like yeah, you're overindulging yeah, yeah. like yeah, you shouldn't yeah, overindulge yeah. anyway but just um if you are in a position where you're bulking then i hate you and i hate the fact that you're Gonna have Ramadan when you're bulking. Don't watch this video. Don't like. Don't comment. <laughs> it's so Turn, easy. Close yeah. your laptop. It's easy to yeah. bulk. It? Get out of here. <laughs> God. If you're in a position where you're not fussed, just just take it easy, man. Yeah, just take just it easy. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy the enjoy the month, and it. it's. You say that, but you're gonna cut. Now it comes to <laughs> can you cut in Ramadan? Most definitely, you can. I cut last Ramadan. And, get, but uh, you know what? Again, this is it's because it's not easy. It's not going to be easy because I know for a fact. Yeah, what are you going to say? What about when my family are eating this and that? Listen, you know that's it. The mental toughness. <laughs> no, but this you, you, yeah. You know what it is. I, did I, this. I I'm serious about my games. No, <laughs> right. You know, to be fair, I I have cut during Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, like four years ago, five years ago, and it was crap, man. I remember like everyone's day eating like nice. They're still eating chicken, but they're eating like grilled chicken that I just don't know the macros for. <laughs> and I'm there weighing out my, my protein, protein You're bread. You're chicken. Yeah, my, my, my chicken. I'm weighing out my sauces. And they're eating some crappy little sandwich after fasting for like seven hours. But you know, hours. you're saying this, yeah? But I'm going to give advice now. You know, if you're cutting, yeah? L- look at it logically, okay? So, for instance now, you have an eight-hour eating window, Okay. Eat as much as for someone who's cutting, so if you was cutting in like outside of Ramadan, yeah, and say for it, for this example, I'm gonna say you're on eighteen hundred calories, like really low cutting calories, and you had like the normal eating window they did, which is like sixteen or fifteen hours in a normal day, not Ramadan, you would have had to spread eighteen hundred calories over fifteen hours. In Ramadan, you have to spend you have to spread those same calories over just eight hours. But you're forgetting the variety of food that you have. Yeah, but I'm table. saying like in Ramadan, yeah, that's the part though. And like when I broke my fast in Ramadan, I'd break it by like I'd pray in it. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't even like I'd have my two dates, have water, pray, go gym, back my shake, back the rice cakes, and dip. So my advice is, yeah, Yo, waste if you're living bro. the cutting life, yeah, do the same. But the thing is, you know, when you come back from gym, you know the calories that you have for that meal. So basically, my start and my sahur were the same. So I'd have a protein smoothie. And rice cakes for my sahur as well. Don't be and like then, this guy. And then, you know, after gym, when I came back just before Sarawi as well, I'd have a mad, like, 1k calorie meal. You're dirty, bro. You're dirty. I hit my bro. protein, no, make sure. Man. Don't listen. If you... Nah, man. I'll you can, can cut, you can cut in Ramadan. That's the, the bottom line is you can cut. You can cut, but. And obviously, you're not going to cut every day. I didn't cut every day. I had two cheat days. In the, in the week? I had um on my. on, So. One week wasn't any. The next week, the rest day I had it on that, and then the week after I never had it, and the week after I had it on the rest day. Just so you're saying you, you just have to. I guess you do if you are actually gonna cut, man. If you're one of them idiots that actually wants to cut and you're, you're crazy and you don't care about yourself, it's so much. You know what? Technically, it's easier to cut in Ramadan. The only problem is the reason it's not easier is because everyone around you is gonna be eating the best food. It's no, eat. no way so, is it easier, bro. 
Imagine seeing fresh Logically, samosas. It's easier. No, Logically. imagine seeing fresh samosas. Yeah. Just there, fam. And you see some nice dough balls, some nice fried stuff, man. Oh, some lamb chops. Yo, I'm hungry. <laughs> Imagine seeing all that and you're there, yeah, I'm with my protein, yeah, you got to drink this one, yeah. Uh, 25 grams of whey protein. Got a casein blend too, man. <laughs> no, man. No, no, I, no. I, 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 I've got to, if whoever wants to know the protein smoothie I have, yeah, just frozen, uh, frozen berries, some ice, protein powder, protein yogurt, mm. and probably add like some... Maybe a piece of chocolate or something like that into chocolate. it. Yeah. To be fair, and it's good. Takes, that's a really good pre-workout meal, though. You know, if you're going to train after, um, but the first few days were long, though. Yeah, because you, know, you get so bloated after you eat, then you yeah, go to the gym. Th- that is difficult. But in terms of like what you should eat as well, um, like you, oh, yeah. you can. There are things that you should be eating, like just not even in terms of like going to the gym and whatnot, just in terms of how your body reacts to certain foods. So, mm-hmm. like, like. When you when you're about to open your fast, you have a, you've deprived your body of nutrition for so long. First of all, obviously, have your water, have your dates, and the dates are good because they're high on the glycemic index, yeah. meaning they're fast releasing. So your body's absorbing the sugars and the carbs from that and replenishing all your stores yeah, as quick as possible. Day, yeah. So having something like dates, which is why it's like uh, preferable to have it, is because of that reason. And having something like you wouldn't want to have like like potato that's no, a low yeah, yeah. that's low on the index so, something like something that's low on the in- index would be better to have for suhoor yeah when you're closing your fast because it would slowly release it slowly right release it yeah. yeah and in terms of like your protein sources um like a whey protein is high on the glycemic index it's fast releasing your casein blends are more slow releasing so you have that before you fast if you're really that deep about your protein yeah. i'm not um in terms of um types of meats that you should have uh, like chicken breast um, and eggs, egg whites, they're fast releasing, they're higher. So you should have them when you open your fast. And then if you can, people, sh- they say you should have like lamb and beef and all that stuff for your, when you're closing your fast. That's if you're really yeah. serious about it. But imagine your family's there eating watermelons for suhoor and you're eating uh, lamb chop. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, that's good stuff. And also um, following on from all that is making sure you still keep your protein high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's going to be another key to maintaining muscle mass. So like we said, you have to have a certain amount of sets per body part during the week. You need to also eat the right amount of protein. I, I reckon last Ramadan, I was probably getting around like 80 grams of protein per day. 80? Yeah, nothing. Why? Nothing. Just what because like... Meat? I was eating the meat, but there's only so much you can eat when you got fries and samosas there. Carbs take over. Carbs and all take that, over, man. And bro, I used to go... I remember I used to go to Costco... And I used to get them, uh, them cinnamon swirls and them yeah. chocolate brownies from there. And I used to warm them up and put some double cream in there. Oh, man. That's crazy. God, crazy combo. I should open my dessert shop and just sell them. Oh, 10 out of 10 stuff, man. Okay, you know what? If you, what's, what, what would be your ideal uh, iftar food to have? Like, with just... Just full, you don't care, like... Like, I'll probably take away on it. Some, take some out. Take away, yeah. After a long day of fasting, you want some greasy takeout? I don't know. Yeah, like, like where from? I just want my favorite food, like pizza or something. Or if my, even if I uh, had homemade pizza. Oh, so pizza is your favorite thing? Yeah, pizza. Are oh, you like pizza? Yeah, pizza is my favorite. Pizza or burger is my favorite food. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> it's Surprise. not a salad. <laughs> it's not a salad? No. You can make, you can make high calorie salads, to be fair. I like lasagna, man. Oh, I had lasagna two days ago. Lasagna. Homemade lasagna. Lasagna. Lasagna with some coleslaw. Next time I have some, I'll show you. you. Okay, show me. But no, no, lasagna with some garlic bread, some fries, some coleslaw. Crazy. (laughs) Brazy, in fact. (laughs) That, man, give me, if I was on my deathbed, no, not if I'm on my deathbed, if I was about to be executed. On death row. On death row, fam. If I was on death row and and they said, what's your last meal? That'd be your last meal? That would be my last meal. Okay, your last meal. I'm gentrified, bro. Your last meal would be lasagna. Lasagna. What would yours be? Chicken and rice. <laughs> Chicken broccoli and rice. Chicken broccoli and rice. Nah, and lasagna, man. Oh, hold your last meal would be. No, no. Let me let me let, let me say let me say the sentence again okay. man, for the reals. So, if you were on death row, yeah, what would your last meal be? I think it would have to be Pizza Express. 
That's it. This pizza express. Pizza. But can I get it from different shops? <laughs> no. Different places. That's no. one place. One establishment. <sighs> Think about the pizza, protein. Man, I want pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You're dying, but you gotta look swollen in the coffin. <laughs> I want him and see something. <laughs> what pose would you be in the coffin? One of these ones. Uh, a crucifix. My face would be doing the vacuum pose. Oh, hero <laughs> does that? That's big. Um, oh no. Nah. What place does pizza? Good pizza and good burgers though. Stuff from the ends, man. Yeah, but these, I can't these... go out like that. <laughs> I can't go out like that. Dire- me out, dire- 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 yeah. And they're like, what do you want? I want macaroni. <laughs> True. Okay, true. No. okay, so pizza express Kill pizza. Kill him now. Kill him now. <laughs> you don't deserve it. <laughs> so pizza express. I don't rate pizza express like that, man. No, man. man. What, what are the... I feel what? like the, the, if, you, if you can get like a nice stone baked pizza. That's what it is though. No, yeah, but like... The pizza's original, man. You know Serious. what? I need to try Pizza Express again, man. You know what? You know what? You you working this week? Next week? I'm on Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You wanna go get Pizza Express? Hundred percent, I want it. Say no more. I'm on that. Tuesday, when say less. We'll go Tuesday, pizza. come with me on Tuesday. I need to go Apple Store too. Come, I gotta return some stuff from uh, Primark. Oh, I mean, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care when you what swole. You, you can wear what you want. What would uh, your drink be? Oh, my drink. Yo, you you can't get no li- li- zero sugar one. First of all, so imagine you're there. You're full fat monster. <laughs> full fat <laughs> monster. Full sending. <laughs> the full, yeah, the Lewis Hamilton ones. <laughs> oh man, they are. You I always see like these. You ever you ever see like the punch f- fat people drinking it? Yeah. And I'm like, man, that looks so good, man. I want to be fat yeah, like too. Would, I was I was saying to my mate the other day as well, like. He, he he was sending me like his meal. He was like, "Oh, enjoy cutting." And he sent me like his meal of like a Dixie meal, yeah. And he, you know what? what pissed me off most about the meal, yeah. He had full sugar Pepsi. I was just thinking, like, why, why, why did you do that, dear son? I don't even remember having full sugar Pepsi. It's like I, I can't remember the last time I had a full sugar drink. And the thing is, like, why, why would you do that, dear son? Save, save some save calories. Have yeah, extra, you, uh, you extra know, food. even if you could have a full sugar can of drink, wouldn't. you wouldn't in it. No, I wouldn't. You, I really wouldn't, man. Save the cows, man. Like all the months that I bulked, I didn't. I didn't start drinking full sugar. I wonder what they taste yeah, like. Though. I've never actually had a full sugar monster ever. Never. Never. Oh, I've had them though. Is before, it nice? Before I was on the gym, yeah, I used to have a fire. The punch was too fire. Fire, fire. I'm waiting for the punch to come zero sugar, man. Yo, they're coming out with new flavors though. What which one you got there? I got the gold. This is the last one. Shout out, I'm off for what? Yeah, oh, that's, that's the one. That's, that's the last one I ain't tried now. Yeah. Have you tried all of them as well? I tried all of them. Watermelon was the last one. You had to try it now. Yeah, I didn't try watermelon, but I tried No, I've tried it now. Yeah, you tried it now. I've tried all of them. Monster got some mad colors, man. Like It's like they're coming out with new flavors every time. Remember the white original one? That was the the, the daddy one. I remember. Have, Chris, you, do you have, have you had it now? I don't like it that much. <laughs> it's dead in it. Bougie now. Yeah, yeah I'm bougie, fam. I want some watermelon. Okay, but what's, what's your favorite uh, monster flavor? Sugar free? Yeah. Oh, it's tricky, you know. D- d- different days, man. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> different days. I hear that, you know. I like, I do like the purple one. I like the ultra red. No, ultra red tastes of like just dead cranberry, man. Like dead, uh, not cranberry, Berry. dead raspberry. Yeah, like a generic uh, cherry aid or whatever. I like the watermelon. A watermelon, you know, watermelon is, I don't think many people have tried watermelon though. Watermelon is alright, man. Watermelon tastes of a pre-workout. It's got that pre-workout mm. taste. It's a bit watery. Oh, the though. mango one's nice, man. The Fiesta one. The Fiesta one. That that's a daddy. Nice. The black one's nice as well. Have you had the black one? The black what? The black one, like black currant kind of style. What color is the kind? Dark purple one. No, black. Bro. Black bro is a color. Black. I don't black. Know. I need to. Yo, I can't ultra dark, I think it's called. Elite. I, nice remember, you know, I don't think I've had that, you know. Yeah. Have you had um, yellow? Well, yeah. I've you... had, no, I've had yellow, but I'm trying to think of this black current one. Have you had green? Yeah, I've had green. I had green yesterday. Red? Red you had. Yeah, red I've had. There's blue, there's light blue, there's green, there's bit of colours, man. What's the yeah. next one they're gonna do? Monster, if you're watching this, send us a free shipment of Monster Cans. Sponsor us, Sponsor us please. But then they yes, won't yes. ever because, do you remember Christian Guzman? You used to watch his videos. Yeah, no. He used to, before he had like his drinks company, 
he always used to drink monster cans literally every single video he'd be back in two of them um, and everyone in the comments would be like yo monster should sponsor him should sponsor yeah. him they never i don't think they ever got in contact with him there's no need to i don't think it's, co- it's coca-cola isn't it at the end of the day monster oh yeah so they, they got their peas in it they don't care yeah. Uh, but yeah man okay so we spoke on training we spoke on nutrition just to wrap it up then man like what would you what would be what's final thoughts man about this whole I thing, think just whole month? Let, telling people yeah remember it's this month is, it's a spiritual month like it's for your it's not for now it's one month literally so just take it easy um, think about the bigger picture like it's a religious yeah, time yeah, it yeah. comes once a year take the time to get closer closer to god like spend your spend your time wisely i like, don't focus don't base the month around your yeah. gym and training like don't, this is advice for that part it's yeah. not for you to just base your Bro, life around the gym and there's going to be nutrition. someone yeah that's going to comment wow it's not even that deep man focus on your religion man what are you going to the gym for oh, well if you if you're going to comment that yeah first look at him and slap yourself <laughs> proper hard <laughs> We're not saying don't focus on that. We're saying focus on your that thing. should be the priority. But when you're doing these things as well, which you probably will be, like if you if you are still gonna train and if you wanna know what's the best things you can eat at iftar and at suhoor, yeah. And if you are gonna cut, then this is just our advice when it comes to that. It's not saying to you, oh, cut in Ramadan, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop cutting. Do do. Like it's it's, it's only one, a m- it's it's a and you know the thing is it's not just it's a religious month as well it's a month that you can spend with your family because how many times a year are people sitting down with yeah, their family yeah. and eating that's a like big thing yeah spending time with your family how many times are you going to the mosque like if you don't come that, I'm speaking to myself before I speak to anyone else and yeah but like spend that time first and it no it's very and I know I'm true. this is like his hands mad because I'm going to be cutting it all that but like I find it easier than which is why I'm going to do it but that's not going to take away from the fact that it's Ramadan like I'm. The month has much more significance than just me cutting. It's going to be about like religious gains. Yeah, religious gains. When that's the gains we're worried about in Ramadan, we're about religious gains. Yeah, you get you gotta shift your, your focus up from gains to from religious physical gains, gains yeah. to religious your, your gains. Your physical gains become second. Yeah, Re- second, uh, second the most spiritual important. Gains. They should always be second most important. <laughs> cool, you out. <laughs> cool, you uh, out. No uh, friends, yeah. Cool, you out. <laughs> but that's it, man. Just you know. Yeah, just yeah. You are, oh yeah, we we we've said everything, man. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's it. Yeah. Then that's, that's if you've got all. any questions, just comment. Oh, like, yeah. there's still still some time after Ramadan yeah. we could address it. Just we speak on it. Next might episode. be another video on. We might have uh, Mufti Meng on. Yo, our guest. He might Mufti, be our first Meng, guest. Yo, Mufti Meng, what's your split? <laughs> <laughs> Mufti Meng trains though. You know, I have seen a clip of him talking about the gym. Push pull preach. <laughs> <laughs> Push pull preach. Push pull pillar. Push pull pillar. <laughs> Yo, what's the five pillars of Jib? <laughs> Fundamentals. That's where the episode ends. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it. Catch, Follow us on TikTok, catch Instagram. You, catch you in the next episode. Show it to all your friends, man. Yeah, that's family the main too. Thing. Watch your iftar with your family. <laughs> and that's that'll be the end piece. <laughs>